Hi everybody and welcome back to another thrift with me. I'm trying out a new mic today. You'll have to let me know what you think. I am thrifting close to Boston today at one of my favorite locations and it is the day after the 4th of July weekend. So I'm hoping for some good inventory and yeah, let's see what we can find for treasures. So I'm not here for very long before I find some pieces from a familiar brand that I found here once before called Wrap of London, W-R-A-P. It was the first time I'd ever found this brand. You can see on top of my cart, I've already found a few pieces. This day turns out to be pretty fruitful when it comes to this brand. I'll talk more about that later. An old favorite is Madewell. I find a lot of Madewell at this store, so I am fortunate enough to be pretty selective with it. I happen to love the feel of that sweater. Definitely some alpaca, so I grabbed that, and I am just on the hunt here. I always take my time looking at brands because I often find new ones here. I sped that up for you until I hit this wrap piece another piece this is like a knit it is so soft I love the detailing and here is a blue one right in back of that one I don't know what happened but there is a ton of this here in the store but it is all pre-owned so I don't think it was like a store buyout or anything like that the pieces are just spread throughout and while the resale value isn't stellar I still really believe in the quality of the pieces and I think I can get a good return on these items Okay, wow. Tucked away in the back of the store, I find this beautiful Chloe piece. It has an old tag on it, meaning it's been in the store for a while, and it's just sitting there. Like, And they put the pieces in this store that aren't in high rotation towards the back, depending on the season. So they have the sweaters in the back of the store, and I'm just thrilled. My first Chloe piece. I keep checking on it. I'm like, is this for real? Very excited for that. I think I was still in the Chloe zone when I was looking at this sweater because now that I'm looking at it as I edit, I probably would have grabbed this. I love poncho style sweaters. I think they work for so many different body types and that was wool and beautiful and only $6. But anyways, I just kept going. This is a really cute sweater from Abercrombie. It says soft AF, which I thought was kind of funny. And it really was super soft, but I'm just not sure that I'll get a great return on an Abercrombie sweater. I love to pick up Abercrombie uh, when it's like a standout trendy piece these days, but that just didn't make the cut today. Two of my faves represented here. Penn State and Boston Red Sox. I wasn't sure about this hat and I'm just now checking the comps. The brand is Wallaroo of Boulder, Colorado, but it looks like the comps were pretty um, conservative. So I'm not sad that I left that behind. This is a nice coach bag priced at just $6, um, but anytime I see the exposed piping popping through on the corners, it's typically a deal breaker for me, so I left that one behind. Smathers and Branson is one of my favorite brands to pick up. It's very high-end accessories, belts, and hats. I recently sold a belt um, that I picked up in Florida from this brand. Their belts retail on average for $179. Uh, that hat was new with tag. I liked that scarf too. The scarves, I believe, are $3 or $3.99 that I think I forget to share in the haul because I'm washing it. Whoops. I've already looked at this rack once, but I discovered this beautiful Pendleton sweater. It's marked at $12.99. It's a 1X and it's part of their National Parks collection. I did a little bit of research. So Pendleton makes donations to help restore national parks. And I think that this sweater is part of that series. Clearly that comes home with me. I'm 
a sucker for Sorel's, uh, but these did have little discoloration on the toe. I need to start walking around with baby wipes or something to try to get stains out when I'm thrifting. Um, I didn't want to chance it. The sole of those looked so clean, but that was just not great. I find a couple more wrap pieces before heading to the register, and then when I'm at the register, I discover a new pair of boots um, and I find out that they are a current style worth a lot of money. So let's head home and chat so I can tell you all about what I found today. All right, well, that was a really fun thrift trip. I was flying through that store and just finding item after item after item. I don't know if it was because it was after a long weekend, so they had had all weekend to stock, but I was grabbing stuff as soon as it was hitting the floor. I ended up spending $263. I love the way that they itemize this slip. So jeans are $8, pants $6.50. I paid up for a couple items. I'll let you know what those items are. I got six blouses, three knits, three pairs of shoes, a pair of boots. They really do a good job itemizing. So in total, $263.99. My average cost of goods for 34 items was $7.73, 73 round up or down, depending where it went to. So I thought that was really great. And my big item, which I will show at the end, I got right at the register, right as I was checking out. And fingers crossed that that ends up being a good profit. But let's jump right in. Let's start with the London brand called Wrap, W-R-A-P. I discovered this brand at the same store a few weeks ago. I ended up selling one of the sweaters and my whatnot show for $55 I believe was the price. The resale is not incredible on these pieces so I'm really torn. I would love to list them um, but I might do them on auction. I'm really not positive. I got like nine or ten pieces. Every different part of the department store that I went to, every different department, I would find more of these. It's actually very much my style and all of the items that I got are like a size 12, 14 or large or extra large so they're beautiful. So let's start with those pieces first. I hadn't counted yet but let's start with the tops. I'm going to stand here because I have so many to show you and I'm going to just go kind of quickly because they're very similar style. This is the tag. It is Wrap of London and all of these shirts retail for between $129 and $179. After you're done watching this video, I would encourage you to check out their website. Let me know in the comments if you have heard of this brand. This is more like a knit. Uh, it has like some... Um, pleating over here really cute this is in like a nice olive green and the stitching is beautiful and the details are beautiful i also got the same top in blue everywhere i turned i saw this so i'm not sure if some woman just donated her whole collection because they're not new with tag but they are all in beautiful condition the sweater that i sold for 55 dollars was cashmere and it was stunning i have one other cashmere blend sweater from that first trip that I haven't listed yet. I, I don't know if it like reminds me of soft surroundings. I'm not sure, but the details are so beautiful. Look at the details in the shoulder there. There's another one. I just bought so many and these were like $6 each. So considering the retail is between $129 and $179, uh, I'm really excited about this. This is definitely a longer tunic. I would say this, this could even be like a 1X, but I love the beachy colors in this one, and this can kind of scoop open in the neck. This is a really great beach top, I think. Um, and now this, this is a dress. So I only found one dress, and it is maxi length. It has all this beautiful embroidered detail at the bottom. Kind of little Johnny Was vibes. More uh, detailing at the shoulders here. And what is the safer size? I'm not sure. It's a V-neck. But this, I would say, is like a large, extra large. Same brand. So soft. Again, they're good size. They are joggers. And they're, they're not like hugely gathered at the bottom with an elastic. It's almost just like the knit is gathered at the bottom. These are a US size 14. So it's just cotton and elastane, but it's really, really soft. And I also got a pair of jeans from them. So the jeans are mixed in. So I'll show you those. If you include the jeans that I didn't show you in the sweatpants all in, I found 10 items from this brand wrap. So I spent $6 per shirt that was 
eight items, so $48. The dress, I think, was seven or eight dollars because it was considered a casual dress. The sweatpants were five and the jeans were eight. So I spent about $65 on 10 pieces, maybe $70. One of those items retails for $129. So I couldn't leave them behind, especially if I tap into somebody who really likes that style. Even myself, I love those blouses. I just thought, I'm going to grab all of these and see what happens. So I got all of those. Very exciting. I did pick up this made well top just very flouncy lightweight v-neck this is a size small i love the floral print on this i love made well i actually put back a couple made well jeans because they were the high rise skinny and really small sizes um, but i did pick up some this is a new to me brand nev and hawk as soon as I saw this label, it reminded me of Marine Layer, and I'm like, oh, it just kind of caught my eye. I've never heard of this brand before. So I did run comps. This very shirt sold for $60. Some of the comps on this brand were just incredible. Let's look at some of the pants that I picked up. These were the Madewell jeans that I did decide to get. Even though they were a high-rise skinny, I liked the distressing on these better than the other ones and I loved that they had the raw hem and I think these were like maybe a 27 they're 26 so they're the nine inch high rise skinny in a 26 I just generally liked the style of this one better I wasn't expecting to find so many pairs of Madewell at that store right as I was leaving I found these Madewells I was literally in line and um you know I wander if there's a long line these are just another pair of Madewell, but these are the nine inch high rise skinny, but they're a size 32 and they are in black. So always excited to find Madewell in a larger size. And yeah, they're a nice high rise. They're in excellent condition. So I grabbed those. And I think it was at that point that I put back like a pair of the 25. We have another pair here. These are the 10 inch high rise skinny in a 25. Maybe I did grab them. I put back two pairs. So. I guess these are the ones I decided to take home with me, making a liar out of myself here. I know I put back two pairs of Madewell at the register. Um, and then these I also found while I was wandering, and these were a really good find. And I was so excited. These are the camo like stretch legging by Spanx, and they're in an extra large. These were $6.50. So I found these and the size 32 Madewells while I was waiting to check out and they charged me $6.50 for both because they didn't consider those jeans, which are $8. And these are from Wrap. This is the final piece that I got from that brand. And I love the vintage inspired look of these jeans. These are probably a size 14. They're US 12, but they are a real generous cut with a tapered leg. They definitely have a vintage vibe to them. They have three buttons right here. Or is that a snap? No, they're buttons. So button fly, again, well over $100, maybe $150, closer to $200. I'm not sure. If I, if I see the price for their denim on the screen, I'll pop it on. So I'm really excited to see how these wrap jeans go or wrap brand items go. The quality is beautiful and they're European and I just don't think they're found that often around here. So I was excited to grab those. Um, I'm sitting here next to some of the shoes and accessories. So let me move into that next. This store has a system where if they have a pair of shoes um, or any item for that matter that they consider high quality, they will mark it up and then they have a system. I don't know what it is, if it's every week, if it's every five days, I don't know what the system is, but they will systematically mark things down. Um, so some of these I believe were in the higher end section and then they had just gotten marked down. I loved this belt. This is by, this looks like it's a vintage Joan and David. I might try to throw this in my vintage show that's happening like in three hours from right now. This is leopard, really pretty, uh, nice leather. I'm just trying to see the size. It's a size small. And yeah, I think belts here are $3.99. So I grabbed that. I just loved the leopard print on this. These DV shoes, I don't typically pick up, but these were just in beautiful condition, like brand new. The bottoms look as if they were never worn. And I liked the summer peach color, kind of like a neutral vibe too. I loved like the raw edges to this. And I just thought they were in excellent condition. They're also my size, so I might try these on, but they're really cute. Hoping for like, you know, 28 to $35 for those. And I paid six. Their kids shoes are just $1. And I got these like brand new, New Balance for little kiddos for a buck. They're like triple knotted. I can't see the size, 
but they're really adorable kids shoes for a dollar I'll probably list them like around 25 ish um, I also got this little leather pouch which I thought was really pretty I loved the the stitching in the metallic silver and it's just a little clutch by Lago L-A-G-G-O there's the name I just think this is so pretty I didn't put on any of my jewelry today I've been running around all morning so cute I love these saludos I mean I just couldn't walk away from the llamas <laughs> this cute burgundy slide with the llamas and they're fuzzy and adorable and the I, at first I looked at this because I thought this may have been dirty the sides um, because it's not a bright white but I think it's meant to be cream to match the um, the llama and these are a US size six and a half they have like the little cork the bottoms the bottoms show a tiny bit of wear but the uppers are just gorgeous and how cute is that little llama I don't know 25 30 dollars for those as well I haven't checked comps yet so please don't quote me on anything I saw this and I thought I knew what it was immediately because uh, this is I always get confused between cross stitch and needlepoint I think this is needlepoint the the picture that I had from Maine was cross stitch and I called it needlepoint but this is the brand Smathers and Branson one of my very favorite brands to pick up and a pretty underrated brand I've sold belts from this company for 50 65 dollars and this just says Merica I wish I had posted this before the 4th of July but it actually still has the tag the $35 price tag on it so what I'll usually do in this case is I'll go to the website I'll see if it's still available if it's still available I'll price this a little bit lower if it's no longer available I'll price it right at that $35 and I'll, I'll check comps also to see um, or I could price that a little bit lower just to move it since we're past the 4th of July um, I also grabbed these Ugg boots I suspect that these were also an item that was marked higher I always look at the inside of the fur on Ugg boots to just see the condition and these were in really great condition just like a little ankle boot these were just six dollars oh these are a USA 4 oh these must be kids they must be kids boots really cute so I don't know maybe $30 for these I'll probably list them around 38 or 40 and see how they do these I grabbed and I'm, I'm putting these up in my auction because they're kind of damaged they show a lot of wear on the bottom they're Tory Burch but see all that these were just six dollars so I figure I will start them right at what I paid and if you just look at the top of the shoe they're in really great condition this happens to me in my shoes especially my teaks which I hate because um, I think my feet are on the wider side and so I tend to you know the edges of my shoes tend to go over you know and push down onto the ground because I don't have a narrow foot but the tops of my shoes look great just like these so someone can look at these and just say you know the condition up top is beautiful so I figure I'll just start them you know maybe I'll go two dollars above what I paid so I paid six I'll start them at eight and you know they'll land where they land and, and I kind of like that feature when I do an auction listing because I can just disclose I can show all the flaws and then take it from there um okay what else what else this was a great surprise I picked up this J Crew puffer jacket which I think is so pretty it was priced at $20 in mint condition so I was looking at it and I'm like you know what I could probably double my money at least on this probably list it for 60 or 80 I saw listings all the way from 60 to 150 on this so I bought it and I was feeling really good about it it was also like a size large so all the great things great colors a real standout piece and then I got home and I noticed that it was new with tag and this retails for over it's 248 is the retail this had been marked down to 61.99 but it's new with tag 248 dollars I paid 20 for a size large hoping for somewhere between 60 and 100 for this I think it's so cute everybody needs a good puffer jacket just another amazing piece this is one of my favorite pieces of the day and it's in a size 1x this is Pendleton of course absolutely gorgeous this is like their signature colors I would say I saw this very sweater listed in a large or extra large for $170 I believe I'll pop it up here I didn't see any of this particular one sold so I'm thinking I might price it at like $125 this was priced at $12.99 but I honestly think she just charged me for a regular sweater they have these tags these colored tags that hang off so yellow is $20 blue is $12.99 and this had a blue one for $12.99 but 
when she rang it in, I didn't see on my receipt that she had charged me the the higher price. That's even more of a score. So excited about this. Okay, this was a dream. I don't think I've ever found Chloe before. And this has like a little bit of dust right here. I have to just um, steam it. But this beautiful sleeveless knit sweater in a large with this little button detail and ruffle detail. I think this is so classic, so Chloe, so absolutely beautiful. I've never found this designer before. And not only did they not charge me even for a sweater, which was $6, but they, start, they charged me for a sleeveless top. So they charged me $4 for a Chloe piece. And I was just beside myself. So I can check this off my bucket list. And it's not C by Chloe, which is the diffusion line. This is actual Chloe made in Italy. It says TL. So I'm thinking tall, large, which is a beautiful combination. Very excited about that. I don't know if I'll list this on my own or send it to the Real Real. Anything that I'm excited about, I usually want to list on my own because the Real Real can price things lower and then I get disappointed. Um, this point, sir, they only charge me $3 for. I just thought this was a really beautiful basic. I know it's really plain, but I think it's a great layering piece and it's a great summer sweater going into fall. Um, you can throw a jean jacket on over that or a cardigan or wear it on its own with some high-waisted jeans or some white shorts. Really cute. This is a size extra small. Next up is this beautiful sweater by Madewell. There's some ribbing and this, this feels like an alpaca blend. It's a really pretty color in a medium. Um, it looks like it's in great condition and it is poly made merino wool 10% alpaca and elastane. I'm a broken record when it comes to alpaca, but safe to say that whenever I see something that's alpaca and in good condition and made well, I'm going to pick it up. I did find another made well sweater that was like a duster length that I've sold before and it's done really well, but it was totally pilly. They get a lot of Madewell at this store. This is one of the few stores I don't really share the location to. If you're local, you may know where I am, but it's not a location that I share. It's one of my little spots that I can go and um, just kind of do my thing. This is an All Saints top. This came out on a new rack. This was just $6 for All Saints and it's absolutely beautiful. It's two pieces. It has this ruffle detail on top. I also am a huge fan of black floral items. And then underneath is just the black little cami. I'm sure you could um, wear this with maybe like a pink camisole underneath or white, and you could also wear just the black on its own. So very versatile piece, very beautiful, sheer, just gorgeous, all saints. Super excited for that. This was another new to me brand, but I recognize the name. Hi, my name is Lori Tata and I watch the Kardashians. I saw feet by Brody Jenner. And I believe Brody Jenner, we don't hear much about him, but he is Caitlyn's son. And I was like, let me look this up. I had also found Talentless at this store and Talentless is Scott Disick's brand. Um, so they get some of these cool, like I would say like streetwear, comfy hoodies there and their hoodies are just five dollars so i saw this it's really soft i love this like seafoam color and it's extremely soft it is a size small i think this is a men's sweatshirt but i th think i'm gonna list it in women's i'm not really sure but awesome find i was super excited to get this some really high return items or at least i'm hoping for some high returns on some of these items okay time for the excitement all right, I think this is exciting and I really, I did pay up for these. So there's a part of me that feels like that takes away from the excitement sometimes. But in this case, it doesn't. I was at the register, you know, after I found the Spanx and found the Madewell and I was just adding more money to my cart. And I happened to see these boots and I looked at them and um, I saw that I saw this and I thought at first I thought, I wonder if they're Burberry because Burberry has updated their logo. It doesn't look quite like this, but I wasn't positive. And then I noticed that they were Bally, brand new. And um, I also noticed the bottom. And this kind of like chunky combat boot bottom for boots is really popular right now. So I knew they were a newer style. I looked closely at them and I realized they were, they were just brand new. There was just nowhere. They zipped up here on the side. I thought they were beautiful. So I looked at the back and they were, and this is what I paid, $74.99. I was hemming and hawing, but I was at the register. And now I'm like really getting close. I'm like $75, do I pay that? Is Bally, is Bally gonna like bring in that kind of money? So I was hemming and hawing. And then um, I saw on the bottom a tag for $149. 
And underneath that tag was a tag for $299.99. So they had priced these at $300. They had marked them half off. Like I mentioned earlier, they discount when boots or shoes just stick around. So they discounted them to $149. And she said they had just marked them down to $74.99. So I clearly would not have purchased these for $300. So I grabbed them for $74.99. I just looked at them. I'm like, I could at least double my money. So I grabbed them and off I went. That added to the $263. These were $75. So this was a big chunk, a big portion of that. Then I got home and I looked them up. Oh, when I was at the register, I looked up a pair and they were like short little ankle boots. I did have time to do that. And I saw that they were like $1,200, but they weren't these boots. And I thought, well, if those are $1,200, then I'm good. And then I got home and sure enough, these boots are on their website for $1,220 new. So these are new without tag. They're on Bally's current website for $1,220 and I got them for $75. I think I'm going to price these. There's not a single one on the pre-owned market or on like a site like Poshmark that I saw. Let me know if you do any research and you happen to see these. I'm going to peel the tags off now. Um, but I think I'm going to list these at either $7.99 or $8.99. Uh, that might be aiming a little bit high, but since we're going into the fall very soon, they are new. They are 36 and a half, which is um, a six and a half. So they're a smaller size, which isn't the best. However, that is not a deterrent for me. I'm really excited for anybody who is searching for these. Um, I will probably keep them Maybe I'll list them at $7.99 and just see what happens. I don't know what the real real would price them at, and I'm afraid they, they price shoes very low sometimes. So I don't want to send these to the real real. On the off chance they price them low, I don't think they do the kind of research that we do necessarily on certain brands to see that these are on the current website and that these are new. So anyway, I was really excited. Sorry, I'm still peeling the still peeling the thing off. They're this gorgeous black detail. They are so classic. They have the inside zip, the chunky heel. I am obsessed with those boots and I pray that they were worth the $75 investment. Um, so that's all between all of the beautiful items from the brand Wrap of London. I was so excited to finding these boots, to finding my first Chloe piece that I absolutely loved, some staples like Madewell and things like that that I just get so excited to find and just my bread and butter items in my closet. Most of these are gonna end up on my, in my Poshmark closet. I feel like I need to nurture Poshmark for a while in this month. I'm very excited to see the potential in this haul and what the return might be. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more from me, I release about two videos per week, sometimes three if I'm feeling really ambitious. Next week, I'm starting a new series called Viewers Choice Thrift Challenge, where every day of the week next week, I am going to go to a thrift store and you are going to pick what I shop for at the thrift store. So be looking out on my Instagram this week. My Instagram handle is Lori's Boston Found. I'm going to put out a questionnaire for everybody to send me challenges. I think it's going to be really fun. I do happy holidays in the month of December and now it's July mid year. I just want to do some fun summer series, just lighten things up and have a good time with you guys. So hopefully you will partake in that. You can also turn on notifications so that you'll know when I upload my challenges. So we'll see how we do with that. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back real soon with another video. Bye.